What many features make up the Earth? Convection is a way of using heat to move the mantle around. First, the mantle gets heated by the core. Then a plume of the heated mantle rises. Next, the heat makes the plume move under the crust while it is cooling. When the mantle cools down, it sinks back to the core and repeats the whole process over again. The earth has many layers. At the top, it starts with the crust, then the upper mantle. Those two things make up the lithosphere. There is a rock of lime under the upper mantle called the athosphere. Then comes the lower mantle. The upper mantle and lower mantle makes up the mantle. Next comes the inner core and the outer core. They make up the core or the center of the earth. The earth is made out of two types of rock. Basalt or ocean crust is located in the ocean and is more dense than water, so it is on the bottom. Granite or continental crust is less dense, so it is less compact and is higher. As you go deeper down, temperature rises. On a Celsius scale, the crust would start with zero. Then the upper mantle would be 870. The lower mantle would be 3,700. The outer core would be 4,300. The inner core would be 7,200. If I were to make a scale of the depths it goes down in kilometers, the crust would be 15, the upper mantle would be 410, the ethanosphere would be 660, the lower mantle would be 2,900, the outer core would be 5,100, and the inner core would be 6,400. There are two types of seismic waves or energy passing through the Earth. P waves are one type of seismic waves. P waves are forward and backwards and faster. S waves are side to side seismic waves that are slower. There is an area where the S waves cannot reach inside of the Earth called the S shadow located at the outer core. While P waves can pass through anything, S waves can't pass through liquid and the outer core is liquid, forming the S shadow. When the S waves bounce off the liquid in the outer core, it forms a magnetic field protecting us from solar radiation.